Congratulations on a fantastic victory. Paul Daly tried to get in your head. You wouldn't let him. How do you feel about your performance in the fight? Um, I, you know, I, I got a, I had a good performance. You know, um, I got a really good trainer. You know, I got a good trainer. I got a good team. I had a good sparring. I worked out with this Elmar Henry. We flew him up, and he's a real fast little guy. So I was moving out of the way of some of those punches, and I knew that uh, if I get out of the way of those, you know, I'd, I'd get out of the way of this guy. This is a lot bigger. Gentlemen, this is for the championship of Strike Force Welterweight Championship. I want you to fight clean, fight hard, fight fair. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Step back so we can start. Nick Diaz starting already. Yeah, it began at the weigh-in. They lit the fuse. Incendiary ingredients for what should be a combustible main event. Diaz Daly. Both of them undefeated in strike force. Diaz 5-0. Daily 2-0 with two knockout wins. And the trash talking has begun. <laughs> Frank, you were in yes, there with Nick. Yes. <laughs> what, what How does this say? trash talking affect? You know what it is? It's incredibly distracting. Like you just can't imagine that he's doing that to you, and he's doing that to you. There's a left hook by Daly. Diaz. Oh, Daly. Diaz is moving his head, though. Oh, Daly has to be very careful. That kick almost caught Diaz in the head. That would have been illegal. But Daly all over Diaz. Daly is jumping on him. The knees and the left hook. I wonder if we're seeing some rope of dope here, my friends. Nick, though, with that height advantage, does not have a reach advantage. Daly fighting him close. Cesar Gracie told us that Diaz's overall boxing mechanics were the biggest improvement. The head movement, the footwork. Daly so far short circuiting that. Now Diaz getting his rhythm, testing that lead leg. Straight right hand, missing for Daly. Diaz normally in stand-up, a combination puncher, Frank Shamrock. Yeah, right now he's just trying to get Daly to swing and expose himself. Give him a reach. He's looking for those holes. I like how he goes to the body as well. Nick Diaz, Compu Strike's biggest enemy. This is where I thought Nick Diaz should be hanging out against Paul Daly. Put him in a cage, beat him up, elbows, short punches off the, off the cage. Diaz to the body, left hook by Daly. Diaz back downstairs up top. Daly pin. Daly in trouble. Daly look hurt. Daly holding on now. Daly looking for the takedown. Diaz going for the choke. Now Nick Diaz. What a start. Very impressive, superlative striking from the Strike Force welterweight champion. Now the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt pulls Daly. Into his guard. He's controlling his wrists, controlling the posture. Just because Diaz is on his back for you MMA neophytes doesn't mean he's in danger. He is very comfortable from that position, looking for the ankle pick. Good balance by Daly. Scramble out of that ankle. Wrestling has always been the Achilles heel for the British fighters. He's been working with Kenny Johnson. One area that Diaz. Ooh, beautiful straight left hand by Nick Diaz. Backs up Daly. Then he goes to the body with the left hand. Daly left hook. Catching Diaz. Woo! Tremendous action here in San Diego. Wow! And Diaz is ripping those body punches to Daly. You work the body, it opens up the head. Diaz, elbow strikes. Taking a page out of his teammate Gilbert Melendez's book. Daly looks wobbly, a beautiful knee. Muay Thai from Daly. And Diaz walks through it. One, two. They are banging, folks. This is what the fans anticipated. This is what the fans are getting. 1.30 to go. The Strike Force World Welterweight title.
Diaz doing a good job keeping him away with his feet, but he's got to get his head out of that cage and pop up. But he also ate a huge hammer fist, now controlling the wrists again. Daly has hurt Nick Diaz, but Diaz's chin has been tested before. It sure has. Nick's got him in a good open guard position there, and he can flip him over if he gets his other leg underneath him. Hard to believe how fast this round has flown by the crowd chanting Diaz in the final 35 seconds. Now Diaz takes his time, gets up daily. Reloads, 30 seconds to go. Round one scheduled for five for the Strike Force World Welterweight title. Nick Diaz, the champion in white and black. Daily, the challenger in blue. Great body work by Diaz. Oh, a beautiful uppercut. Looping right hand. with a time of 4 minutes 57 seconds in round number 1 a referee in charge Big John McCarthy stops the contest he is the winner by way of technical knockout he is still the strike force world welterweight champion Nick All right, Nick Diaz and Paul Daly shaking hands. Nick, you never feared his power. Were you ever hurt in this fight? No, I had a. Uh, um, I want to thank my, my partner. Uh, came out uh, hooking up some sparring. His name's Omar Henry. Give a little shout out. I appreciate that. You know, he's real quick. You know, so that wasn't. You know, we always made this guy miss his punches. You know, it's not. It's not a problem. Ten straight wins now. Uh, you are in the sweet spot in your career. You know Jake Shields is going to fight GSP April 30th. Who's next for you? Um, I don't know, you know. We got to see what's up, you know. I need to get paid. I want to thank my, uh, my teammates, though. Jake Shields, Gilbert Melendez, uh, my partner Daniel Roberts, 
everybody out on Gil's team, helping my wrestling. And, uh, you know, Caesar Gracie, Caesar Gracie Jiu Jitsu. Okay, come see us in Lodi, 230 School Street if you want to learn. If you want to learn some jiu-jitsu technique and, uh, you know, not everybody trains to fight like this, you know. Some people just want to learn some jiu-jitsu and, uh, and uh, you know, train martial arts. So, come see us. What does it say about the Gracie team, looking at what your teammate Gilbert did tonight, what you did tonight? You know, when I, when I started, uh, when I was a kid, I knew that, uh, I, I mean, I, I watched Voice Gracie and I watched, you know, Gracie jiu-jitsu and uh, I just, if, if I'd have known it was in my backyard, I would have got started earlier than I did, you know. But uh, I met Steve Heath, and uh, he took me to Caesar Gracie Academy, and uh, you know, I try to make like David Terrell and uh, get my wrestling right, and uh, you know, that's what's up. Now I'm here. Well, congratulations, Nick Diaz, folks. Make some noise. There's a champion, Nick Diaz, celebrating with his brother, Nathan. And as we go to the numbers here, Frank, a very, very entertaining round where each of them got their blows in. That was very entertaining, and although Daly had a couple of attempted takedowns, it all came down to arm strikes, ground strikes. 75% of the ground strikes landed by Diaz. Of